Good morning. I'm Dr. Howard Lux. I'm a sports medicine physician in Westchester County, New York. Every day we get close to a hundred emails in through our website via comments and through Facebook with many, many questions and suggestions for other videos. Today's question came from across the United States in California. It was by David and it's with respect to his rotator cuff. He had an episode of shoulder pain and he was referred for an MRI, perhaps a little too early. And he was found to have a partial thickness rotator cuff tear and a bone spur. It was suggested that surgery was his only option and he's asking whether or not that is in fact true. Well, David, you are 45, you're in middle age, and so is your rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is the most common cause of pain in the shoulder in 40, 50, and 60 year olds and beyond. The rotator cuff as we age starts to degenerate. We call that process tendinosis. Initially, your rotator cuff starts to fray. Then some of the fibers or the tissue uh, of the rotator cuff can actually detach from the bone and we start to call that a partial tear, not actually a tear. Your tissue again is wearing out. Think of your favorite pair of blue jeans. The fabric in the front of your knee is starting to get a little gray, then it starts to fray, then you start to see little holes, and one day you're gonna see a full hole. Your rotator cuff is very similar. The tissue is wearing thin, partial tear. It can wear completely, full tear. Anyway, you have a very small area of involvement. Your tear is less than 50% of the thickness of your rotator cuff, and it's only one centimeter long. That is not a cause to consider surgery as an initial treatment. Now, let's talk about the bone spur first. Many, many years ago, it was conceived that the bone spur or a bone spur in the shoulder was the cause of all rotator cuff dysfunction and pain. They also thought it was the cause of rotator cuff tears by actually wearing away the bone and the rotator cuff. However, we now know that the bone spur is not, I repeat, is not the cause of your shoulder pain. It is not the cause of the rotator cuff tear. We develop these traction spurs throughout our body. We can find them in your heel, we can find them uh, in the knee, we can find them in the elbow, many different places. And it's almost never the cause of your pain. If you had, have tendon-related pain around the knee or the ankle, we treat the tendon. We don't treat the bone spurs. If you have tendon-related pain in the shoulder, why should our, our treatment suggestions be any different? We need to address the tendon. So, for partial tears, or again, rotator cuff tendinosis, the initial treatment is physical therapy. It generally works very, very well. Now, everyone asks, can the arthritis progress? The answer is yes. The tendinosis, I'm sorry, can progress, but it does so typically in a very slow fashion over many years. Should you have surgery now to prevent progression? No, there's no clear evidence that we can affect the natural history of this. So if you might develop a full tear in five or seven years, there's no reason to consider surgery now. If physical therapy is effective and alleviates your pain and improves your quality of life, then there's no reason to consider surgery at this time. If your pain does not improve with physical therapy or injections or over-the-counter medications, then surgery does present itself as an option if you feel that your quality of life is poor and you feel that the risks of surgery are worth the potential benefits. There is no quick fix here. Rotator cuff surgery hurts and entails a long recovery. So it might be the right answer for you, but not quite yet. Take care.